All right, next up, we're going to create a report. So in this case, I'm going to create a report from the customer table. Reports, of course, <clears throat> are useful for printing things, printing information out or subsets of information out <clears throat> from your database. So we've got a table here, a customer table, and we just want to print out a report. Uh, we don't have to print it. We can actually print to a PDF, things like that, so that we, because uh, that's commonly uh, more useful to us, is to put it in a PDF and send it to somebody. But we want to take the customer table. So I'm clicking the customer table, and we're going to go up here to create, and we're going to create a report. There's several ways we could create a report, but the quickest and easiest way is to uh, use the report wizard. Now, your buttons may look different from mine because if the, um, if, if the screen is bigger, the buttons expand. And so I've made mine a little smaller so that it would show up better in the video, but the buttons look a little funny. So I'm just gonna click on the design wizard right there, or the report wizard, I should say. And so now it's gonna, it's gonna take me through uh, a little wizard or a coach to tell me uh, to, to create the table, uh, the, report, the report in this case. So I can choose a different source, but I'm going to go ahead with the customer and I want their, uh, let's say the customer's first name and their last name. And let's just say I want their phone number and their, their current balance. Maybe we're creating a report to hand out to our sales reps and our sales reps need to meet with our customers. And so we're just going to give them a list of the customer's name. They don't even need to know their address because they're just going to give them a phone, a phone call. So maybe this is going to be a, um, uh, customer report for our sales rep. So I'm going to click on next. And these are the fields that I want for for this for our sales reps. So I'm going to click on next. Now I could I could add some grouping. Now grouping is really useful uh, if you have groups of data. For example, if we had um, different departments, like if we had a West Coast. Uh, sales department and we had an East Coast sales department. So we could group our report based on which department they're in. Um, any kind of um, grouping that you might have like that um, can be useful. Uh, you can you can group on many different things. So uh, I'm not going to have it group in this particular case, uh, but I'm going to click on next and then we can sort. Let's have it sort by last name. And then I'm going to click next. And so how, how do I want it laid out? Um, let's do tabular. Uh, you can play around with this if you want to. And uh, we can adjust the field width so all fields fit on the page. I'm going to click Next. And then what do we want to call it? Let's call it Customer Phone List. Uh, customer Phone List for Sales Reps. So um, then um, I'm going to go ahead and preview the report. I'm going to re, um, I was just uh, clicking on that to copy that. Um, and then I'm going to um, preview the report and click finish. And so here's my report. It's not all fit on the screen because I've got my screen pretty small for this video. But you can see it's got the, the last name, first name, the phone, the balance. And um, it also has page numbers down here at the bottom and the date it was, it was printed. Um, so this is really useful. If you had a big big table you're printing, then, you know, it could be many pages long. Um, and this would be um, really useful for that. Okay, so we're in preview mode right now. We're in print preview. So um, for your assignment, you're going to uh, print this screen right here. Make sure it includes the, uh, the report shown on the side. But um, I'm going to um, close the print preview now. And then this is design view. And so when you're designing your report, you actually have lots of customization you can do. Uh, you can, you can, for example, if you don't like um, uh, something on the page header, the last name, you might put customer's last name. You don't have to do this for your assignment, uh, but you might say customer last name, for example. And then in your report, it would say that. Okay. All right. That basically is, um, how to create a report using um, using Microsoft Access.